Hey everybody, how's it going? John Boy here with vlog number one for the gardening and gaming goober on the gardening side. And today, as you can see behind me in Pittsburgh, there is snow on the ground. Typical in February in Pittsburgh, but now is actually the perfect time that you want to start planning your garden. Uh, I know for this year, uh, I'm not going to do container gardening like I did last year uh, as of my trial run. I'm going to do a raised bed garden. Um, I know I'm going to put a fence on it because of the animals that I have in the area. And I kind of already know what I want to plant and how I want to plant it. But that's the things I'm going to share with you uh, throughout this series as we're going on. Now as you can see behind me, I did, it looks like I had a tree come down right there in the winter time. So I will have to clean it up because I do plan on putting it kind of in this area right behind me where I'm standing. Uh, I'm going to do a 4 foot by 8 foot raised bed like I said. I'm going to have a 5 foot fence on it. And uh, now, like I said, is the perfect time in February to start planting that because coming up in March, sometime around mid-March, you're going to want to start to uh, plan your garden out. Um, plan on where you're going to put it, uh, what you're going to grow in it, and how you're going to protect it. And I will be going through my steps and hopefully be able to show you some things uh, that will help you out with it also. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hop inside where it's a little warmer and I'm actually going to hop on the computer and show you guys um, how I'm going to uh, do my garden, like uh, how I'm going to lay it out, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to plant it. Uh, this year, oh hello, our outdoor cat. Um, this year I'm going to be uh, doing a raised bed, which I haven't done before, and I'm doing what's called square foot gardening, where you will put uh, a certain number of each type of vegetable that you want to grow in a one foot by one foot square area. So I will have technically 32 uh, plots to plant in, um, in that uh, eight foot by four foot area, eight times four is 32. Uh, so that'll give me 32 different plots and like I said when we get inside on the computer I'll show you how the square foot gardening works and how I'm going to be planting my garden this year and why I'm planting, what I'm planting, where I'm planting. So let's go hop inside where it's a little warmer. Hey everybody welcome inside it's much warmer in here and I'm very glad about that. So I wanted to explain to you guys a little bit more about what is square foot gardening. Now as I told you whenever I was outside, I'm going to be planning on doing a square foot garden that's 8 foot by 4 foot. That will give me 32 1 foot by 1 foot plots to plant in. Now pretty much what you have to decide is that a 1 foot by 1 foot plot is kind of like what you might plant in a container if you had a 1 foot by 1 foot container. The only difference is you got 32 of them side by side and they're all growing together. The nice thing about this is, is that it's nice, it's compact, and it's all in one area. The bad thing is, as well, there's certain vegetables that don't play well with other vegetables. So you got to kind of watch out for that in your garden to make sure that you know you're not actually hurting yourself while you're growing it. We'll get into companion planting at another point in time. Today, let's focus on you know the square foot and what it is. So when you do square foot gardening, you can only fit so many uh, seeds or plants if you already have uh, your seedlings uh, grown and ready to go into the ground. <clears throat> um, in each one foot by one foot section. Now the question becomes, what can you fit in a one foot by one foot section? All you have to do is go online and Google search. It's not that hard. Google search square foot planting guide or square foot planting help or whatever you want to search. And trust me, you're going to find a bazillion images that are going to tell you a bunch of different things of what you can plant and where to plant it. Um, now these are just, you know, some basic items that you see here on the screen. Now, again, these are not obviously all the vegetables that you can plant, uh, but it gives you a general idea. And what you can do with this is you look and say, okay, if I was going to plant leaf lettuce, I can plant 16 plants in a one foot by one foot area in my garden. Uh, if I was going to plant peppers, I can only plant one, well, because they kind of grow quite large. You know, if I'm going to grow some basil, I can fit two plants. Uh, head lettuce is four. Peas are eight. Um, bush beans are four, and pole beans are four. <clears throat> now, you will find that different guides will tell you different things. Some will say bush beans are four. Most you'll find that, but I've seen, I mean, the pole beans are four. But I've seen bush beans go as high as nine. Um, again, do multiple searches, find out exactly what it is that you're looking for and what you want to plant, and see maybe over a course of five different pictures or five different websites that are talking about square foot gardening what they recommend. If you find that four of them say that you can plant nine bush beans instead of four, then hey, go with the nine. If you want to plant on the safe side, hey, four is not going to kill you either. 
So you can take this kind of thing and say, okay, well, I want to plant one tomato, and I'm going to plant some peppers, and, you know, I was going to plant some bush beans. So if we go back here, you know, I could say, okay, well, I'm going to plant, you know, um, cucumbers, I think, were over there also. So there was two, so, okay, I'm going to plant one cucumber here, and then maybe, like, one cucumber here, because I need to trellis it up the side, uh, you know, because cucumbers need a place to trellis and climb. Uh, you know, if I'm going to do a tomato, maybe, okay, I'm going to plant one tomato, so I can only plant that in the middle. You know, if we go back to our picture again, okay, our beans were four, so maybe we'll just use this, and we'll say, okay, if I'm going to do beans, that's one, two, three, and four. And again, since you have 32 plots, you pick what 32 vegetables, or if you want to do a four foot by four foot, or four foot by two foot, or whatever it is, whatever size you decide that you want to make, that's how many plots you have. You decide that's how many vegetables you want to plant. And then you can decide, you know, how many seeds you need to germinate whenever the time comes. Uh, which in Pittsburgh, like I said, for my area, will be mid-March. Now, along with this, you can't just plant anything next to anything. Because, you know, some vegetables just don't play well with others. So here we had cucumbers, we had tomatoes, and we had uh, be our beans. So if I come over here and do another Google search, like I said, that's how I found this. Companion planting for vegetables is very important whenever you're doing square foot gardening. Uh, some plants grow well together. Some plants you don't want to plant together anywhere close in your garden. So let's take a look through here and see if I can find... Okay, so cucumbers say that they're good with beans, broccoli, corn, tomatoes. So that's good. The way I had that with my uh, tomatoes right next to my cucumbers, that's not going to hurt anything. Uh, what about beans? Do we have beans on here? I see peas... I'm um, just looking real quick. Well, I don't see green beans on here, so that means I'm going to have to find another website to look that one up. But I do know, like I said, I was going to plant some peppers. So peppers are good with basil, carrots, cucumbers. So I could plant that together, but know what? Broccoli I do plan on planting. No, cannot plant my broccoli anywhere near my peppers. So if I came back over here and I was going to plant, you know, my broccoli. So let's say we turn make broccoli purple for now. And you can only plant one. I can plant my broccoli here like this. But when it comes time to plant those hot peppers and everything I plan, I better put those way over here. Way far away. Because, you know, I don't want these two interfering with each other and preventing them from growing. Or growing well. Like, they may grow, but you may not get a good harvest or maybe a smaller harvest than what was expected. So, along with this... Let me go ahead and zoom out here. This is my design that I'm going to need to use uh, for my square foot. My four foot by eight foot. Like I said, this is going to be about a foot high. And I'm going to take connectors and screw them on to the poles, or screw them on to the boards, uh, so that I can put five foot poles coming up. I made out of PVC pipe running across. This will be a four foot section, one piece. This will be a four foot section in one piece. Uh, this will go up to the five and over eight. But at eight foot, you know, that PVC pipe being only three quarters of an inch, it's like maybe that big, um, is going to sag. So it's going to need a support from down here, and then I'll do the same thing down here. After I get all my poles put up, like I said, I'm gonna, I want to wrap that in a one inch hole chicken wire uh, to prevent all the animals that I explained earlier, deer, uh, groundhog, um, raccoons, uh, squirrels, chipmunks, you know, everything that we have. Uh, in this my area, like I said, even including sometimes turkey, although I don't know if turkey would to go against vegetables, um, to prevent that is the one inch chicken wire is going to prevent anything from there, but it'll still let in you know bees in order to help germinate your plants, um, any of the other helpful bugs like ladybugs that can get in there to help get rid of aphids and stuff like that. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what. As I was uh, looking earlier today, I found out that my local tractor supply store has in stock um, a big long section, 150 foot, even though I don't really need it fully, but you know, never hurts to have extra, of the one inch chicken wire. So why don't we go take a trip to our local tractor supply store and see what they got in stock over there. Okay, well, just went into Tractor Supply and I found out after talking to the manager that I had to get permission from their corporate office in order to record in there. So unfortunately, I couldn't show you all the awesome stuff that I found in there. Now, I didn't buy all the awesome stuff because I was only really there for the one thing, like I said, for the chicken wire. But I did find some really cool stuff. So I'm going to try and work on seeing if I can get those permissions. Uh, ca contact them through the email and everything. And that way I can go inside and show you guys 
some of the really cool stuff that they have in there. Um, I will definitely be making another trip back out here. There are some things that I definitely need. The prices are awesome here, and I really, honestly can't wait to come back. So unfortunately, I'm gonna when I get home, I'll show you what's going on and what I have, what I bought, uh, the chicken wire that I bought, and what I'm gonna use it for. So, sorry, would really have loved to take y'all in there with me, but at this point in time, I'm just not allowed. Okay, everybody, well, we're back from Tractor Supply. I did pick up the one thing that I wanted to go there for, which was the poultry netting, AKA chicken wire is what I call it at least. Let me show you this beast of a thing. Oh, this thing is huge. Uh, it's one inch hexagonal hole, 150 foot long, three foot high. I'll put this down because this thing's heavy. Ugh. Now, um, I did get this galvanized, which is good. Um, that way I don't, I mean, it, it's probably still going to rust, but I mean, it's less likely to rust uh, with that. And the three foot height will allow me to do a double layer to fit uh, the five foot part of the enclosure I'm going to do. Uh, since I do plan on taking the enclosures off to work inside the garden, uh, whenever I have to do anything like the weeding or feeding and stuff like that, um, I can't run it the full six foot down because uh, I did say I was going to do the one foot, ten inch to one foot piece of wood and then the five foot uh, fence on top. Uh, if I attached it to the wood, well, I wouldn't be able to take the enclosure off. So yeah, I'll be doing a double layer on the enclosure for the five foot part. And I will show you that build uh, coming up here probably April or May-ish, uh, whenever I start to get that outdoor preparation area going. Well, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, next episode, I will show you guys uh, where I bought the seeds that I plan on planting and why I bought the ones that I did. Uh, how I'm going to be planting them in my raised bed uh, with the square foot gardening and what companion um, planting that I showed you a little bit uh, before and why I chose what I did to plant them where I did. Um, I hope you guys will stick around for this series. Uh, I know the beginning of this series uh, with just getting the seeds and getting prepared is kind of boring, uh, but I do have some pretty cool things coming up uh, in future episodes planned once the weather warms up and uh, we can actually get this stuff in the ground. So I hope you'll come along with this journey with me. If you do, I'm glad you're here, and I hope to see you all next time.